like right now, as we currently see, Nick's been in deep, deep crap the whole entire season. Actually, since training camp. I mean, everybody looked good on paper. All teams looked good on paper at the start of the season. But about 20 games in, you already know whether your team is going to be good or whether your team is going to be bad. And I already knew 10 games in, that the Knicks was not going to make the playoffs. I mean, we have hope that they probably do good. But, I figured, nah, I don't think they have what it takes because a lot of the other little teams was changed up and did, did some improvements. The Knicks haven't did much of an improvement. We have other players added to the roster. Uh, we had two Chicago players that I guess they thought if we get both of them, the Knicks become a playoff team. I was like, no, because they got to prove themselves and we got to have a solid season with both of them playing at the top of their game. Uh, we have Rose. Rose is pretty much injury prone. But he did what he could. And Noah was supposed to be this. Our center. Savior. And instead of signing him to a. One year contract like Rose. Uh, Mr. Phil Jackson. The team president. Said let's give this man a. Multi year contract. Okay, Mr. Noah, what have you done for me lately? A few decent games, nice passing, a couple of games of points. I don't even see you in a Nick uniform. So, how did Nick go buy out your contract? Huh. And Rose, uh, he's doing what he can. He's not that great of a shooter. His shooting touches went fell off, but he does drive to the basket, and he has a problem facilitating the ball. So there we have it, and we have uh, Melo, our so-called go-to guy that you can go to for offense, for a few buckets here and there, that you can go to for an ISO game. Hmm. Uh, very mediocre defense. And you have the unicorn, KP. Seven foot three, uh, you might just call him a seven foot three, uh, small forward. Slash power forward. Sets up at the top of the key, shoots three pointers, and, you know, he can block shots, he can get to the basket, he can create his own shot off the dribble. Multi-talented, but he doesn't have to wait, so he's going to be pushed around. He's going to be like uh, Sean Bradley with skills until he gains weight. And the rest of the Knicks is just a cast, a happy cast of castaways, you know. We on the New York SS Minnow, and, and this ship then went and crashed on... <laughs> On Coney Island Beach or Manhattan Beach, or that little that little that little island in the middle of uh, City Island, somewhere over there, somewhere in New York, the Victor crashed. It is time to clean up the mess, and you getting it from a Nick fan. Hopefully, we get a top pick. Hopefully, we get a point guard or a center. That's the only way you can build your team. Build your team around a point guard and center. We have a we have a, a forward, seven foot three forward, and we got Mr. Marshmallow, you know, that don't want to get out of his contract. But the Knicks need help. The coaching sucks. The 
defensive coach sucks. The management sucks. The owner's horrible. He's like he's like um the owner of the circus. All he's doing is putting out a couple of couple of stars and the rest ain't nothing but one trick ponies. That's the Knicks organization. Horrible. I stopped watching them. <laughs> I ain't watched them for I ain't watching Nick game for four months. And trust me, they played against a couple of teams I do admire, but I can't watch them playing the Knicks. This is a a pissed off Nick fan. The Knicks whole 2016-2017, I told you that they wasn't going nowhere and they trash. And the only hope left is what do we get in in the NBA draft for New York Knicks. In order for me to watch the games next season, they're going to have to give me hope to watch the Knicks game. Because right now, the Knicks are trash. Not worth watching.